you by Yeah, that's not good. No, Keep... no, I'm doing something different. Try 20. Change. I don't know, man. That's why I always shoot. I try to, you know. Let me see. Try it 20. Let me just turn that. Can't see it. Oh, yeah. Were you shooting at the orange? Yeah. Holy f you're way left. You're left and low. Okay, so what am I doing different? I don't know, man, but that's good. That's not good. What? Hold on. Yeah, I am. What the f is going on? Good thing we tried it. Well, I would adjust it. Try two more at 20, and if you don't hit the center, then we got to adjust the sight, I think. We got time. What would have changed? Yeah, I'm low and left. Yeah, okay, let's adjust it. I was to the left a bit. That's not bad, so you're a little high still, but. but a little high is not bad. That's in there, perfect. Okay. So, so tighten that one up. I did, I tightened them both. Did you? Yeah. So okay. I just do a little blurb, something. That's why I always shoot your bow before you. A little blurb? Yeah, something to see. So, I don't know if it was when I traveled here or what, but we shot my bow. I had some adjustments that were loose, and I was out to lunch. So we've got that figured up, and we're going to go sit. And if that coyote in the background comes in, it's gonna get ventilated. Killing sticks. Premium carbon fiber arrows. So, I think we've been in the stand all of half an hour, and oh, he's done. Uh, I said when I came to Alberta, I'm taking whatever comes in. He's a nice little, he's a nice buck, and you know what? Plenty of light, 
offered a perfect shot. So I took it. I don't know if I caught Kelvin off guard, but we're done. First day, half hour. It took me longer to drive here <laughs> than to hunt. So, and he's right there. It was a, it was a perfect shot. I, I just don't think he knew what hit him. And he's, what, what is that? 60 yards? Yeah, maybe. Tracking's easy. Yeah. We already got the Ravens checking them out. <laughs> Half an hour, dude. So <laughs> it takes you four days in Saskatchewan. It takes me half an hour in Alberta. I'm going to have to up my game. <laughs> That's awesome. That was quick. So uh, the five-year curse is over and it took me to come to Alberta to do it. So I'm happy. I am freaking happy. stand a total of a whop and half hour this guy came out lots of light uh, Kelvin's invited me to Alberta for a few years now back to the motherland and this year I took the opportunity so now I've got some meat in the freezer I can go back to Saskatchewan and look for that big one but either way I am stoked it's been five years since I've put an arrow through something and these micro ventilators just total pass through it was awesome so we got to get them all field dressed up, maybe process them tonight so we're done with that and Kelvin's buying the whiskey. Right on. Thanks a lot Kelvin and Anna for you guys are going to be putting me up for the next couple of days. <laughs> so and it was, I, it was crazy. I think the weather because it's been raining and snowing early like for four days and they just we were talking in the stand actually when this deer popped out. We said, uh, you know, it's it's been raining snow, and they're gonna, they're probably going to come out early, and and he did. It was just crazy, and he came out to me a week ago or so, or you know, and but he went straight past me, didn't, and this time he turned and went up that tree line, and that was his huge mistake. So I'm on the board. You're on the board. first time in five years. <laughs> You're on the board. I'm on the board. board yep. Oh, we're doing awesome this year. The boneyard's killing it. Yeah. So, but then you got to get some killing sticks. Those things are freaking deadly. Hi, I'm Jordan with Cam Clark Ford Red Deer, and you're watching The Boneyard. If you're ever wanting to ask Jason or Calvin a question, check out their Facebook or Twitter page at Adding Bones.